We're here to learn more about 4-H, and uh, with me I have Ana Rosa Garcia, National 4-H Council. Tell me um, a little bit about what 4-H is like today. 4-H today is a community of about 6.5 million youth across America. Actually, we have 4-H programs in every county, in every state in the United States. And we've got about 60 million alumni, 540,000 volunteers, 3,500 3, staff that all work together to pursue the mission of 4-H today. So it sounds like it's uh, continuing to... Uh, to be a strong organization from a membership standpoint. Absolutely. We're working really hard to, through our programs of science, engineering, and technology, citizenship, and healthy living, increase the number of youth that participate in 4-H. In fact, by the year 2013, we're hoping to add another million youth into 4-H, and we're putting a lot of work into that. We're really excited about that goal. Wow, that sounds like a big goal, too. One of the projects uh, we'd like to talk about here is called Clover Country. Uh, what is what is this project? Clover Country is a really exciting project for 4-H. This is actually a first of its kind country music compilation CD that features country megastars, a virtual who's who in the country music business that are all 4-H alumni. Some that are included are Sugarland, Dolly Parton, Johnny Cash, Faith Hill, Reba McIntyre, Martina McBride. Um, and one really exciting thing that has also never been done before is one of our former 4-Hers, Hillary Lynn Lindsay, who's a Grammy award-winning songwriter, actually uh, contributed a song that's never before been played or seen. It's a new exclusive song for the CD. It's called The Clown, and it's available through only the CD and iTunes right now. So um, we're really excited about this project. And of course, the goal is for proceeds of the sales of the CD to support 4-H programs and those millions of youth across America. Well, you mentioned 4-H uh, uh, alumni. For some of these artists, were did some by chance get their start that way? It's incredible. Actually, it's astounding how many did. Um, a few of the ones I'll highlight, Jennifer Nettles from Sugarland, actually Hillary Lindsay and Luke Bryan, all from Georgia 4-H, were part of Clovers and Company, which is a performing arts group in Georgia that is still exists. It's been in existence for 25 plus years, and um, they all got their start singing in that troupe and dancing and all of those uh, performing arts venues. So. Wow. Well, if consumers want to get the CD, how would they find it? Well, there's a couple ways to do it. I'll give you two websites, but um, the main one is www.clovercountrycd.com, and you can learn more about the CD or purchase it there. And you can also find it on the 4-H Mall, which is www.4-hmall.org. So I know there are a lot of companies that support 4-H. If they perhaps want to buy in bulk, say, to uh, gifts that they might give away, is that possible? Absolutely. Uh, companies and retailers are realizing that um, they need to align with the positive image of a, an organization as 4-H. This would be a great way to do it. Um, you can purchase the CD in bulk by um, and give it away as a corporate gift. Give it a, as a gift with purchase if you're a retailer. And you can contact me to do so. You can do that at um, www.clovercountrycd.com. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to let people know about 4-H here that we haven't touched on? Just that we're really excited to bring this. The, the amount of press we've received already, we've already sold 30,000 units of the CD. We've been featured on CMT, on Country Weekly, on various print and web publications. So there's a lot of buzz going around. We're really proud to support the um, successful alumni that have come through this wonderful program. Absolutely. Sounds like a great project. And thank you, Ana Rosa Garcia, for bringing us up to date on 4-H, and especially this Clover Country project. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.